Good morning, everybody. My name is Dr. Stephanie Vanderpool. I'm an anesthesiologist and director of comprehensive pain here at University of Tennessee Medical Center in Knoxville. I'd like to welcome you to today's Facebook Live, where we're going to be talking about targeted pain treatment. So what is targeted pain treatment, you may ask? I'll tell you. Targeted pain treatment is a way that we can figure out how to accurately identify the cause of your pain and then target the treatment to the cause. Now, why would you think that that might be important? Let's talk about what's going on with pain management in the world today. How many times have you read headlines about opioid addiction or patients just suffering in pain because they don't have access to their medications anymore or patients just giving up on life or giving up on the quality of life that they want to have because pain is just stopping them from doing things? Well, what we want to highlight is an opportunity for you as our listeners to learn more about targeted pain treatment. So targeted pain treatment is really a game changer for so many patients. It's a process that we offer here at University of Tennessee and at the University Center for Pain Management that allows us to affect change in our patients' quality of life. We're talking about patients going from walking with canes to walking without any assistive devices and climbing stairs. We're talking about patients who used to dread going to the emergency room because they were called drug seekers or they were worried about somebody just judging them because they were hurting so bad and they couldn't function to patients who can enjoy life again. And we want to be able to offer that service to you. So we're going to offer you a free webinar that you can participate in this Friday. It's going to be Friday, June 25th, and it's going to be at 12 noon Eastern time. The goal is going to be to just educate those who participate in the webinar about what targeted pain treatment is, what offers or what benefits it offers you, and then how you can help yourself or your loved ones get access to it here at the UT Medical Center. So I wanted to go up over a little bit more detail about why targeted pain treatment is a little bit different. And what we want to first highlight is how different it is from what's been done in the, in the, in the current practice or what's, what's been going on in terms of pain management in the world. Um, we think about opioids, we think about opioid addiction, we worry about it, there's a stigma associated with pain management. People just kind of hide it, they don't want to talk about it because they're worried that people are going to judge them because they hurt. And it just doesn't have to be that way. So what I encourage you to do is think about what's limiting function in you or your loved one's lives the most. Is it that you can't sleep at night because your back hurts? Is it that you can't walk or you can't play with your grandkids? Think about those things and think about how it would be different for you in life if you could do those things that you're not able to do right now because of pain. Um, I want us to also take a second and acknowledge the fact that there's a lot of misconception about what pain management actually is. It's not just about narcotics or opioids. And it's not just about injections either. There's really a process of, it's really important to figure out what's causing that pain so that we can get to the source of it. And then once we treat the source, that's when we start helping you improve your function. So for this free webinar on Friday, I want you to pay attention. I want you to go to www.utmedicalcenter.org forward slash events. You can click on the June 25th link and you can click there to register. The webinar is absolutely free for any of you who want to participate. It is made possible by a generous donation to our medical center from a grateful patient who is actually a patient of the pain center. And it's really designed to just give you and your loved ones knowledge, access, hope, motivation, so that you do not have to continue suffering with pain. Another thing I wanted to talk about is the fact that it's open to not just patients, but even team members of UT Medical Center. Um, any of us that have loved ones that have pain, that are suffering with pain on a daily basis, um, all of these components are really important for us, or all of these, these um, individuals may have a need or a benefit from attending this webinar. And so I really want to encourage you to register. Another question that I might get about um, how to register is that uh, how do we get onto that website? So I gave you the link already. It's going to be in the comments of this Facebook Live. But when you get in there, you're going to need to put in your email address. Very important because they're going to email you the link to the event site. Once you get emailed the link to the event site, it's going to send you some reminders that you can then log on when the event is live. The event is going to be recorded. So if you don't get to um, see it live, still go ahead and register. If you have some sort of conflict at 12 noon Eastern on Friday, go ahead and register. You'll be able to still um, uh, watch the recording for about 30 days afterwards on the event site. But you have to register, okay? Um, 
And then I already mentioned it's absolutely free. You don't have to pay for it. And um, we are very grateful for the generosity of, um, of our donors to help us be able to make that happen. And now I'm going to just uh, take some questions from the audience. Are there any other questions or any, any interested um, persons out there that have some questions about either targeted pain treatment, how it's different from what's going on or what they're used to or what they may have experienced before, um, how to access things? You, you let me know. One question, um, Doctor, about just um, why do we need a new treatment um, for for pain? Like the, there's a stigma often around pain treatment. Could you speak to that a little sure. bit? Sure. So to repeat the question, the question was why do we need a new treatment option for pain management? What is the issue with the stigma associated with pain? So for too long, we've been focused on treating the pain score. How many of you have heard of the zero to 10 pain scale? You know those faces when you come into the doctor's office and they, they're smiling or crying? And you're like, well, what's my pain? Well, you know, pain is a subjective experience, right? On some days, if you didn't get a lot of sleep, your pain can be so much more intense than on days when you're feeling good or you're active or distracted. But what is almost always constant is how pain can affect your function. So what I want us to do with targeted pain treatment is I want us to focus on function. I want us to focus on what you are not able to do because your pain is limiting you. And then I want us to focus on how we can get you doing those things you want to do. Now that starts off by figuring out what's limiting your function in the first place. There are different causes of pain. We're gonna get into that on the webinar on Friday because we're gonna talk about how we identify those different causes of pain and also how we treat those different causes of pain in a targeted fashion. And so um, what we need to do is focus on function instead of focusing on a pain score. Once we do that, we can really start to make progress and help you enjoy your quality of life. Great. And then another question, I guess, is just about the different options um, available. You'd mentioned uh, there's medications, interventions. Maybe just talk about um, sure. some of the options. Now, Lance, I can't be giving you away all the it. secrets <laughs> of the webinar now. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you. I'll give you a sneak peek. Okay. Four things. Medications, interventions, physical therapy, psychosocial treatment. Those are four components that we have to make sure we address in every patient. I'm going to give you a cool analogy, but you got to log in on Friday to learn about it. And we do have a question, um, Dr. Vanderpool, from Kathy White. How long is the webinar? The webinar is just scheduled for about 45 minutes. If we've got a lot of questions afterwards, we can stay on up to an hour. But I really just have some content that I want you all to gather and, and learn from, some action items for you. And then we've got a really cool, we've got an actual patient testimonial that we're going to be playing for you that you're going to want, you're not going to want to miss. So make sure you register. Wonderful. And then I think you, you did reference this earlier but somebody just jumped on but do i have to pay for the event no the event is absolutely free we are so grateful to our um, generous donors who made this event possible so it's made possible through the targeted pain treatment outreach and education fund and that was a fund that was created um, uh, by a generous donation to the medical center and we are so grateful for that and we want to encourage you all to just register it's free to attend you just have to register online Think we're good maybe just to wrap up with a, again on, on how to register okay absolutely so we're going to put the direct registration link in the comments please go ahead and check the comments for that but if you missed it you can go to www.utmedicalcenter.org forward slash events and then you can click on the june 25th link on the calendar it'll take you down to the bottom of that page it'll take you to the registration sign you need to put in your email address make sure your email address is accurate Make sure you're checking for emails from the registration. When you get it, it may go to your spam folder. There's sometimes the confirmations go to your spam folder, so just check. If you haven't heard from them, check back. You can email the help um, folks, and then um, we'll make sure that we see you on Friday at noon, June 25th. Don't miss it.